The United Arab Emirates has opened the door to a future purchase of South Korea's KF-21 fighter jet, signing a new cooperation deal during a high-level military visit to Seichen. The agreement allows the UAE Air Force to observe air exercises involving the KF-21 Boramae, South Korea's indigenous multirole fighter jet currently undergoing testing. Additionally, UAE officials will be granted access to South Korean Air Force units operating the aircraft once it enters active service. The letter of intent was signed by South Korean Air Force Chief of Staff General Lee Young Soo and UAE Air Force and Air Defense Commander Major General Rasht Mohammed A. Al Shamsi during their visit to Korea Aerospace Industries Limited. Although the KF-21 has yet to enter active service, it has already completed more than 250 test sorties across six prototypes. Limited series production is scheduled for 2026, with full-scale production expected by 2028. The UAE will begin observing the aircraft only after its induction into South Korean squadrons. The UAE had previously committed to purchasing 80 French Rafale jets. Like the KF-21, the Rafale is categorized as a 4.5 generation aircraft. However, the South Korean fighter's design allows for a future transition to fifth generation capability, including features like an internal weapons bay and a low radar signature. That capability could appeal to the UAE, which withdrew from talks to acquire the US-made F-35. The KF-21 potential to evolve into a fifth-generation fighter may offer an alternative path for Abu Dhabi to modernize its fleet without reliance on US platforms. While there had been speculation that the UAE could join the KF-21 development program, possibly replacing or supplementing Indonesia's role, this agreement makes clear that the UAE will evaluate the jet only after it completes development and enters full operational service. The KF-21 program was launched in 2015 to replace aging F-4 and F-5 jets in South Korea's arsenal. The first prototype took flight in July 2022, and the aircraft passed its initial operational qualification IOC, phase in 2024. The current agreement may not amount to a purchase yet, but it sets the stage for deeper engagement as the KF-21 advances towards squadron-level deployment.